Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be preparing an all-time classic. This is fideo with ground beef and potatoes. Now this is a traditional Mexican dish and I remember many times coming home from school and my mom would have a big pot of this fideo with ground beef and potatoes and she'd have beans on the side and freshly made tortillas and we absolutely loved it. I don't know anybody who doesn't love this dish. And it's also become one of my Ron's favorites. Now this is a soupy dish, but it's hearty. And today I'm gonna show you how I make it, step by step. Let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using today. I have one pound of 80-20 ground chuck, one cup of chopped onions, some cilantro, I'm gonna use it as needed, three fourths of a cup of green bell pepper, now you can use the yellow one, the orange, you can use Anaheim, whichever one you like, they're all good. Two serrano peppers. Now these are optional, but I like to throw them into the pot and my Ron and I like to crush it once we serve our dish, but you can leave them out. Three large garlic cloves. Now this is a big pot, so you wanna be sure that you use plenty of garlic. One teaspoon of peppercorns and one teaspoon of whole cumin. I have two green onions here, and I've also chopped them up with the green part, and they were about this size right here. I like the combination of the green onions and this type of onion together. I just think it gives it an added flavor. I have one large celery rib, and I also have some of the leaves. I think they add a little added flavor. I have one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon tomato flavor. And then I'm gonna be using 14 ounces of my freshly canned tomatoes. You can use canned or you can use fresh tomatoes. One russet potato, about a tablespoon of vegetable oil, seven cups of water, and then I'm gonna be using four ounces of vermicelli. Many years ago when my mom made fideo, the vermicelli used to come in a box, but nowadays I've noticed that it's all broken up and I don't like the way it looks. So I make my own. Now, this is the way it looks. It comes in a box, just like thin spaghetti, but it says vermicelli. If you can't find it, you can just use plain thin spaghetti. What I do is I just break it up into fours, about this size right here. See? Four ounces and it's ready to go. So now that you've seen all the ingredients, we can go to the stove. So I'm ready to brown my ground beef. I'm gonna be using this big old Dutch oven. So I'm gonna add my ground beef in here. And I'm gonna move it around until it loses all its pink color. So while I'm browning my ground beef, I'm gonna grind my spices. Here's my cumin and my peppercorn. And I'm gonna grind these up. Now I love using freshly ground spices because this is what gives us the authentic flavor that we're looking for, see? If you don't have a molcajete, it would be a good idea for you to get one if you can, because you'll always have freshly ground spices. Look at that, see? Now I'm gonna add my garlic. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, just to make it a little gritty. And that's easier for me to grind. And I'm gonna grind these up. Now I'm gonna add my water in here. Oh, it smells so good. So now I'm gonna set this aside until I'm ready to use it. So my meat has lost all its pink color. I have removed all the excess grease and I left just a little bit in here because we are gonna need it. Now I'm gonna add my onions. The onions always go first. If you add the peppers or the tomatoes or anything else in here, then your onions won't be sizzling and releasing that flavor that we want them to release. That's why it's important that your onions always go first. See, you can hear this. Now, if I were to add the tomatoes in here, they would be boiling in the tomato liquid. And I'm gonna add my serrano peppers. I'm gonna move this around until the onions get slightly translucent. Now I'm gonna add my green bell peppers and my celery. 
you know I love putting the celery in here because you know celery is what makes a delicious broth you can even add some carrots in here if you wanted to now I'm gonna add my spices from my molcajete see the spices down there they're just coming together with everything else so it's been about one minute now I'm gonna add my tomatoes I'm gonna add them all in there. I'm gonna add my cilantro. And I'm gonna add my chicken tomato flavored bouillon. Oh, look at this. Now I'm gonna add my water. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna add my salt. I'm only gonna add half a teaspoon and then I will taste it and adjust it later. So I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna lower the temperature to low and I'm gonna let it simmer like that for 15 minutes because I want all those flavors to come in together. So while my pot is on simmer, I'm going to toast my vermicelli. I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil in here. And I'm going to be moving it around nonstop because you don't want it to burn. I like to toast this because I think it releases less starch into your soup. And just be moving it around like this until it's real nice and golden. So my fideo is nice and golden. See, I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna put it into this bowl because I wanna stop the toasting process. You don't wanna burn it. So it's been about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna add my potato. I'm gonna cut it up into pieces like this because this is the way my mom always did it. But you can cut it up into cubes if you want. And there we are. Now I'm gonna give this five minutes with the potatoes in there on a low simmer. I'm gonna replace my lid and then we'll go on to the next step. See the nice low steady boil? Now I'm gonna add my fideo. And you wanna keep it at a low boil like that. I'm going to replace my lid and I'm going to time it for 11 minutes. So while everything is simmering on the stove, I'm going to make my corn tortillas. Our fideo, ground beef, and potatoes is ready. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Now I gave it about four minutes for it to just cool down a little bit. Look at this. Delicious. And look at our serrano pepper right here. Yummy.
oh man, this is going to be good. My mom always sided it with beans. See, I've got some beans right here. I'm going to show you how she did it. She would put the beans right here on the side like this. They were either frijoles de la olla or beans like this that were mashed. And then you could bring it all in together. Now my mom always served them with freshly made tortillas, whether they were flour or corn. She would get one of the tortillas and she would put a little butter on them like this. My mama was so creative and she still is to this day. She loves this dish. See, we roll it up. Mm. And my homemade lemonade. Mm. So this is my delicious fideo with ground beef and potatoes. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. And if your mama ever fixed it for you, tell me all about it. Thank you.